The Bloodline Saga took another turn on WWE SmackDown's former New Japan Pro Wrestling star Tama Tonga arrived to become the latest member of the group. Tonga had been a mainstay in New Japan Wrestling for 14 years, becoming best known as a founding member of the Bullet Club, as well as winning multiple sets of tag team gold with his cousin and adopted brother Tonga Loa. Fresh off his WWE debut, Fightful Select released a report with some backstage details on how Tonga's deal with the company came to be. The report claims WWE had been interested in signing Tonga for a number of years, so much so that they considered bringing him in back in 2016. As part of the string of New Japan Pro Wrestling signings, WWE made that year. WWE signed AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the Good Brothers within the space of few months. Matanga adopted to stay in Japan to work with his family. While the former New Japan Pro Wrestling star might not have his brothers with him in WWE, at least not yet, there has been an idea to pair him with another recent signing in Jacob Fatu, who is still yet to make his televised debut. The reasoning for this being that their fathers Haku and Tama teamed together as the Islanders back in the 1980s. However, Tonga will be paired with Solo Sikoa for the time being after helping him kick Jimmy Uso out of the bloodline. As to why Tama Tonga selected WWE over AEW, we can trace it back to his podcast on an episode on Tama's Island podcast in 2021. Here's his opinion of AEW. Boys, look at your boys, mid cards. Where, wherever companies they go to, mid cards, huh? Look at, look at Kenny Omega. Gosh, he's in a mid card company. Yeah, I said it. Ooh, yeah, I said it. Mid card company. Let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section. Hope you like that video. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Don't miss on any of my new uploads.